Good morning. Uh, so um, at the end of the last session, um, I was confused by a issue that really I didn't think should happen. Um, and it's here um, in the CLI um, when it was talking to the dbus server, it was getting back. It was it was complaining that it couldn't convert a string to a UID. And I was confused and I spent like 20 minutes um, going around the houses trying to work out what's going on, thinking maybe it's like a service file cache somewhere or something. But when you look at the history here, I was building the wrong name. I was building snippet pixie D, which is what I used down in the, in the daemon here, and then testing with snippet pixie. So I was actually never testing the correct binary. Stupid mistake. Um, so I'm going to go fix that just now. Um, see, make sure it works. Um, and then hopefully that's add snippet fixed up. Um, but I guess we'll see. So let's get Goland up. Um, and uh, make sure everything is as it should be, and then build the correct binary. And when I, I basically, I, I noticed this by just reviewing the video uh, that I recorded. And of course, there's this over here, bright red, snippet pixie D in the CLI. I should have seen that. Anyway, delete that so I can't run it. Okay, so what have we got? Um, store cause and string. All right, so in theory, okay there. Um, and I guess. Should be good to use this again. So we have an empty response that we write into over here. Uh, so we're calling our snippet on the dbus server. Hopefully we get a response back we can use. We extract the ID as a UID from the string. Uh, assign that to the ID. And we also use get the Unix time. We need that actually in UTC. Um, from last used response, which is an in 64 now. So that's to help with the transfer between dbus. It doesn't understand time fields. Okay, so I think that's okay. Uh, that's nothing else on there. Okay. And then so nothing really changed here. It was just the add snippet bit itself. Uh, service caller now has a new type. Uh, another type of snippet which has just plain fields that will get converted. And the daemon itself uh, is now using the service caller as its response type. So it's creating, so it's grabbing the string.
from add snippet from the add snippet UID and then convert in that last use time field to a Unix timestamp. Okay. Uh, right, and that's that. So that should be okay. Um, on the CLI, we've just looked at the DBus, looked at main tests. Nothing's really changed there. We're just testing the add params. Um, and the daemon dbus we just looked at. And the dbus test. Um, for the add snippet. Create the database. Get a new manager with the database. Service. Um, create a dummy snippet that we expect as the returned result. Do the timestamp there. Um, and then cool add snippet on the service with those strings and we expect match up there but we can't test the UID because we've no idea where it'll be but that's fine okay yes yeah, so that's them and we just looked at the service corner okay now let's give that a go so let's do things properly so here go test Go build minus O snippet pixie D. Okay, so that's ready to roll in a minute. Then we have here go test passes go build minus O snippet pixie. Yay, right binary size, uh, binary name. Okay. So we will run snippet pixie d here. So that's the day bus had dbus daemon. Um, and now we need to just double check what we've got in the tables. Yeah, so I need to delete that little test. Okay, and then here, let's do a normal one here. Snippet pixie add sp backtick snippet pixie. All right, we'll give that a go. Yay, good. Okay, we'll just log in the result here. Uh, this won't happen in the real thing. So we're getting a UID back. Um, a abbreviation body and timestamp which is correct utc all the zeros that's great okay success at last <laughs> okay right um so Then we need to decide a couple of things. Um, what to actually do in add snippet. Do we, do we give any kind of output? Or do we just let it do, yep, thank you, done. Oh, I think I remember talking about it before. I think what I might do is add another pram so that it can optionally print out something.
but we'll come to that some other time. So for the moment, we don't want the log. So which means we don't need anything there. some point we probably want to pass in that context to the new service caller. Um, maybe. We'll see. Okay, so in theory, um, what should happen now is if I run that same, let's do a go build. Can't remember to do that. Um, if I run the same one, it should say in that hat, I've already got one. Yep. That's something I probably need to have a better response to. Um, and I do want to have a force as well at some point, but we'll get to that. Um, but if I do different Yes, yes. That works, hopefully. Got a zero back, which is good. Um, and if I look at the database, I should have two snippets now. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Cool. Just get rid of them while I'm here. Jobs are good. All right. Uh, let's commit that. And then I want to do a quick little test in a minute. Uh, just because of all the troubles I had last time, I'm not certain that I need to be doing the UUID conversions, but I will double check that in a second. But this is working and we're going to commit it. So this is all just for the ad snippet, isn't it? Um, And command to the CLI. Come here and push, I think. It's nice and safe now. Okay, right. So we've got that squirreled away which is good. Um, I'm going to make this a short one. Uh, I've had some back problems and I just need to keep everything short and sweet. And although I've got a stand-up desk, I find it difficult to code and stand at the moment. So um, I will keep this short. Um, let's do a quick test to see whether I can um, use UID here. Um, so yeah, so so I do that, and then in. Okay, let's give it these testings for a second. So Damon Dbus. 
uh, it's going to get an abbreviation and body in and then it's just going to return the UID returned from the database as is through dbus hopefully fingers crossed maybe we'll see um, and then in CLI in theory I can take out all this and just use the response ID. Okay. So for the daemon test build run on the CLI test build and run no okay that's good good to know that I wasn't going mad last time so I must I had a I had a feeling that I might have had problems do, not doing a build and using it and getting that problem and maybe shouldn't have, but oh, that's good. Uh, I expect that. Good. Right. Roll back. Good to know. Okay. Um. Kill that off. Test. Build. Run. Test. Build. This should do unique constraint now. Yep. And if I do SPU, it should work. We're good. Okay. Um, right, so that means back in the database, we've got those two again. That's good. They look fine. Commit. Delete. All right. So do I give up just now? Um, I could, couldn't I? One thing that does irk me a little bit here is all my CLI stuff is going to have to do this conversion of the UID and also going to have to do the conversion of the timestamp um, backwards and forwards. Um, so that's going to get a little bit annoying. So I wonder, could I just quickly wrap the service caller snippet with a couple of functions to do that conversion for me? So it can return a normal snippet as such. So let's see, uh, we'll take take these five lines and then in service caller We do funk 
takes a pointer, I think, to a service corona dot snippet. And we call this to snippet. And it will return a pointer to a snippet snippet. And potentially an error, I think. So here we have ID Oh yeah, I should probably name that. <laughs> Right, so this is going to be snippet. Actually, we can just call that S. Nice and short. And that could just be snippet to snippet. So we've got an SID Y hmm. Okay Method is both named and unnamed parameters. Yeah, no, I don't need named parameter there. All right, so I get an ID. And then in let's grab this basically. I think it's not liking the uh, thing there, so let's call that
Oh. oh. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Idiot. This is why I need to actually say I've got arguments, but I don't. There we go. Right. Okay, so uh, we're getting in a snippet, uh, and then we're going to be taking the response effectively there and converting. So hopefully, it's not going to get confused. That's a snippet there. That's a uppercase snippet. Hopefully it's not an issue. Uh, so we've got a local snippet and then we've got a package snippet. Um, so local snippet comes in, which is a service caller snippet. Grab its UUID. Potentially that doesn't work and we return an error. Um, otherwise, we're going to return a package snippet uh, with the ID, substituted, abbreviation body, and we take the timestamp integer and convert it to a UTC time value. Okay, I think that works. Um, so now we have a two snippet. Um, and we're going to want a from snippet as well. So we're just going to be basically the opposite. Are we actually using that yet? We're not, are we? Do we do it now? going to use it that's for sure um so it's gonna be kind of the opposite so i'll just take that let's swap things around a bit um actually we're gonna do this way first just Keep it alphabetical. Uh, let's uh, put some comments on here. To snippet converts a service caller snippet. To a snippet, snippet. Let's do that. So I don't see those green bits anymore. And here we have from snippet converts a snippet snippet to a service caller snippet. Okay, so that's what we need to do here. So we're going to be returning a local snippet there and we're going to be getting in snippet snippet. Uh, we don't need to do that conversion there. We're going to be returning a snippet and the ID is going to be S ID what Hmm. 
Interesting. Why is it now complaining? I'll check that in a sec. Um, okay. Which is what we did. Here. And we did this. Oh yeah, so we are going to use it. Okay. Okay, so that's annoying. Why was it working before, but not now? Let's call it something else then. Um, It's a bit cool. Don't know if there's any kind of. Well, I suppose I just do two, but that's not great, is it? Oh, okay. You know what it is? It's a package thing. Need to import it properly. So let's go back to here. Package service corner. I look at the mod. I keep forgetting about this. I should really do this more like. Well, oh, hold on a minute. It is in there. Okay, so why, why is it complaining?
was working. Don't get it. There's no reason why that shouldn't work. Um, let's do a quick test. Test from um. why is it test snippet from snippet? Huh, okay. Uh, so Let's do Yeah. Actually, what we can do is in uh, as a snippet snippet. The ID. Now I need to do a new thingy, don't I? Uh, ba, 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 do, do. Wait, where's the new stuff? I need to copy that from here. Add snippet. So, and then I'm going to get that ID and a deviation of that. Body that and a 
last used of time <laughs> and now UTC. which I need to catch. And I'll have to that. use that. And then I'm going to do in Ah, that's not great, is it? Don't really want to be doing that. That could be the problem. Okay, what I should really be doing here Take that out. Do that instead. That makes more sense. From snippet, blah, return a snippet. That's why it's complaining. Is that complaining? Because it should be a string, shouldn't it? Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. We're getting there. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you should pass in the snippet that you want to convert from to get the new service called a snippet. Whereas here, we can use the service called a snippet to get. Okay, that's fine. That makes sense, right? That's why it's complaining. Did it do anything with the imports? No, good. Right, okay. So we're going to get an out with an error. Potentially, and it's going to be bomb snippet in. And we want is no error. And then we want to make sure that. is equal um I always get this wrong which way round do I do the expect okay so what the result and then the expected result expected result expected So out dot ID should be the same as in ID to string is 
is equal out dot abbreviation to n dot abbreviation. That's an easy one because they're both strings. Body, body, and then for the dates. Uh, last used. Um, which way do we want to do the comparison? I guess. We'll keep it the same and do this. So. Last used. Um, Unix, isn't it? it? Should be an int. Yeah, that makes it easier. Okay. So in theory, we've got a little test for the from snippet. Let's give it a quick go. Now we want to do similar for two snippet. I'm just going to be kind of doing the reverse here. So here we're actually doing a normal snippet here, and the ID would be the string version. And then the out is going to be in dot to snippet and the out ID, which should be a UUID. should actually match the ID. And then the abbreviation body, blah, blah, blah. And the last used time field should be the integer converted. So time. Unix and UTC. Okay. Sort. Okay. 
So in the debuff, I now need to use the daemon side. Add snippet. In theory, Get shot of all that. I just didn't know where. Yeah. Okay. So in there, let's not do new snippet. Let's just do snippet. Actually, yeah. So we're going to have snippet potentially error is equal to um. On snippet response now let's definitely get back a nice little snippet so let's call that snippet We'll call this a new snippet. Um, or yeah. D bus. A little bit tidier. And why are you complaining? Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Better? Yeah. Also. All right. So in theory, add snippet gets back a new snippet. Um, and as long as nothing happens on the calls there, we get a debus snippet from it. I return it. And then in the CLI, uh, we're going to get back. this which I'm going to rename dbus snippet Oh. Yeah, yeah, it should go. Whoops. Just did that there as well, just in case. And then in here. Yeah. 
we're gonna do you snippet is equal to dbus snippet to snippet and we'll return that can you snip it or now with there so in theory that's we're basically marshalling uh converting these little things uh yeah so we're going to service call snippet um, as long as everything's good, we convert it to a standard snippet. Um, and then we return it. So, right in the package, still good. In the CLI. Still good. In the D bus. Still good. Build it. Run it. Clean out database. Database already cleaned out. Uh, back in the CLI now. We want to build. Snippet Pixie. And then add a snippet. And test the database. We're good. Yay. All right, let's move that so I don't forget next time. That's us. Okay, so let's just check what we've got here. We've got add snippets now using two snippet there. That's all good. Let's ping. Let's clean up these things. Service caller now has some tests, which is nice. Service caller has from snippet. From snippet converts a snippet snippet to a service caller snippet. And to snippet. To snippet converts a service caller snippet to a snippet snippet. I say snippet quite a bit. Um, and then human debus. Uh, we are in add snippet, get back a normal snippet, um, and we need to convert it from that to a debus snippet and pass it back on the interface. Sorted. So add functions to convert between standard snippets and dbus snippets. Sorted. All right, that's enough. Uh, I need to go stand up. I actually have a stand up soon. Um, that's great. All sorted there. Um, 
good to finally get that one sorted. That one's driving me mad on the last video. Um, it's silly mistakes. Um, I really do need to get make files and so on set up so that I don't make those silly mistakes I did at the last time. Anyway, um, thanks for watching um, and until next time, take care.